to the bread kitchen. This week I'm going to take a simple English bloomer and really jazz up the flavour by adding in some crushed walnuts and sunflower seeds. I'll start by adding two teaspoons of dried yeast to 300 grams of lukewarm water, giving it a stir and then leaving for 10 minutes for the yeast to get going. In this bowl I've got 500 grams of a good strong bread flour. I'm going to add in one and a half teaspoons of salt and mix well. Then add in your frothy yeast water mix and mix to a smooth dough. And after a few minutes it'll come together into this slightly tacky dough. Sprinkle a bit of flour on a clean surface and then knead the dough for about 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes kneading you should have this lovely soft springy dough. I'm just going to leave this to rest for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes spread the dough out. It's about the size of a pizza base. Now I'm going to add in 50 grams of sunflower seeds and 50 grams of chopped walnuts. Spread them around a bit and then fold them into the dough. And then knead to distribute the seeds throughout the dough. And it might take you a couple of minutes to get all the seeds and walnuts distributed throughout the dough. Pop the dough in a lightly greased bowl, cover and leave in a nice warm place to allow the dough to about double in size. You can see that this dough has risen really nicely so I'll just unwrap it and turn it out and knock it back to get all the gas out. Pull the dough together. Now I don't know if this will show up on the camera as I'm filming it but there's like a faint raspberry ripple type effect. You see some of the oils coming out of the walnut and this is going to permeate the bread. So I'm just going to knead it for a couple of minutes. So there's my dough. It is a little bit tacky. I'll just put this to one side. Now I'm just going to lightly oil my surface with a bit of vegetable oil to stop the dough sticking. And now I'm going to roll out this bread into a rectangle. It's about 12 inches or 30 centimetres long by about 8 inches or 20 centimetres wide. Now I'm going to fold this in thirds. We'll fold the top down into the middle first. Okay, so this is about the same width as that. Fold the bottom up and over the top. Pinch the edges together. Now turn it over so that the seam is on the bottom. Just plump it up, tuck the ends under a little bit. It's nice. And then transfer it onto a lightly greased baking tray. Just plump it up again. Now I'll pop this in a large plastic bag and leave it in a nice warm place for about 45 minutes to prove. So here we are all ready for baking. I'm just going to make three deep slashes in the dough. Brush it with a glaze made from half a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of water. And now I'll bake this at 190 fan oven, 220 normal oven for around 25 to 30 minutes. Once baked it takes on this lovely brown colour. Oh, the loaf's cool, so let's see what we've got. Mmm, that looks nice. I really like this bread. It makes particularly good cheese and pickle sandwiches and goes really well with a good soup. So you could use this dough and make it into rolls if you wanted to. I hope you enjoy making your walnut and sunflower seed bloomer and do join me next time in the bread kitchen. Thank you.